Hi everyone. So let's talk about the Hoya Carnosa. This is a variegated Hoya Carnosa, also known as a wax plant, if I'm not mistaken. If you're familiar with the Hoya family at all, you're probably going to recognize the Hoya Carnosa. Hoya Carnosa Compacta is a Hindu rope, which I have a video on, which will be popping up here. So this is also known as the tricolor Hoya. You have this albino foliage, which lacks any chlorophyll, which is going to make the plant less efficient. So whenever you have a variegated plant, you want to make sure that you're supplying it with more light than you would its non-variegated counterpart. So if I just had a regular Hoya Carnosa, I would recommend that you give it a little bit less light than you would this Hoya Carnosa variegata. So that being said, Hoyas in general all really prefer a lot of bright and direct light. I give this guy a little bit of direct sunlight, but that's later in the evening hours whenever the sun's rays are not nearly as harsh. Because I have so much white foliage on this plant, that's going to be key to keeping the foliage white and also promoting this beautiful pink foliage that happens in the plant as well. You definitely need ample amounts of sunlight to provide the plant with enough energy to create this pink white variegation. So pretty. So a Hoya's flower, and typically whenever you observe a Hoya flower, that's how you are going to be able to differentiate what type of cultivar species it is because the flowers differ. I have not seen this guy flower yet. I just picked him up relatively recently, but it has um, these really great like runners um, that hang off of the plant, making most Hoya carnosas very ideal for a hanging basket plant, which is what this guy is. Um, watering requirements, Hoyas in general, I would treat like a succulent, meaning I would have it in a very well-draining mix. In addition, I want to make sure that the soil dries out nearly completely before I rewater it. That's going to prevent root rot and really help the oxygen get into the roots where it is needed. So most Hoyas are actually going to enjoy a little bit more of a humid environment. So if you are able to have a humidifier going near your Hoyas or cluster it together with other humidity liking plants to avoid evaporation and promote humidity, that's going to do best for this Hoya as well. Hoya Carnosa is one of the easier Hoyas to grow. I don't have many Hoyas, but I know people that have lots of Hoyas and they tend to love them. I know some marine oaks um, went and visited someone in Malaysia or somewhere in Asia that had a huge Hoya collection. And I would definitely recommend watching her video on that, as well as her other videos on Hoya Carnosa if you want some more in-depth information. But yeah, everyone, this is a very interesting um, Hoya, and I highly recommend it to anybody interested in growing your own Hoya. Bye, everyone. See you in the next one.